I'm with me and X First Lady of Hip Hop. You know, No Limit Soldiers, Queen. How you doing today? I'm good. How uh, you doing good now? You just ripped the stage. How does it feel to, you know, still be relevant after, you know, I heard you say 31 years that you've been doing it. So how does it feel to be doing on stage and, you know, doing it all over again? Well, I'm blessed because um, I've been working since I retired. I work every year since 1998. Mm. You know, so I'm, I'm blessed that people are still checking for me. From 1998 to 2016, I still do shows, still pack shows, still have fun. Now, I seen you turn into a chef, so how does a rapper, oh, probably a gangster rapper, turn into a chef and have their own restaurant and be successful in New Orleans? Well, I've been cooking since 1975, so I was cooking before I was rapping, and you can't be from New Orleans if you can't cook. You know, food is a passion, and food is what brings people together. So I always did cook and throw, like, different things at my house and at my grandmother's house. So it was a no-brainer to go into the business and end up with a bar and a restaurant. So I also heard on stage you said you cook for Snoop Dogg. Uh, you, you said fried macaroni no, and he likes some five cheese macaroni and fried chicken wings. Oh, okay, okay. So now I want to shift a little bit. Um, how do you feel about, you know, today's, you know, women? of hip-hop from Remy Ma to Nicki Minaj and you know how do you feel about those ladies from the time that you started with like Lady Rage and all of them so tell me about uh, how do you feel about the new, the new ladies well oh lord I started so long ago but I love the new ladies I love their boldness you know I love the aggression I love that they're branding themselves Remy is a friend of mine. She is the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest person ever. And I mean, just as a woman in hip hop, you have to be proud of the things that Nikki has done. Mm -hmm. Nikki has clothes, Nikki has perfume, you know, Nikki has liquor. Mm -hmm. So she has taken things to another level. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to take this craft and build from it. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the ladies. Now, also, I see your shirt and you're a big advocate, you know, for the Black Lives Matter because you said you do have a son. But the things that's happening, especially in Louisiana, you know, how close does that hit to home, you know, and what do you tell your son and also other African-American males that's, you know, experiencing these tragedies? Well, you know, unfortunately, this is happening everywhere because I never thought I would see it happen in Minnesota, but hey, um, my son is 28 years old. Um, and I've been telling him since before he could drive that there is a certain code of conduct between African-American males and police officers. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. For some strange reason, they are viewed as a threat. And so a lot of times they are approached with a little more aggression. And so I told my son, if you ever pulled over, Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Don't reach for nothing unless they ask you to reach for something. But then, when you when you look at uh, like what what happened in Minnesota, he did everything right yeah. and he was still killed. So now you're at a, you're at your crossroads because you don't know what to tell your children, except do what you're supposed to do. And and we just gotta hope and pray that everything works out for the best. But you know the sad part about it is. They have bad people in the world and they have bad police in the world. They have good people in the world and they have good police in the world. Unfortunately, bad apples spoil it for everybody because the way the police been cutting up, they got us looking at all police crazy. When really and truly, a lot of them just want to do their job and they want to serve the community. But with the bad apples, killing our children, killing our boys and our girls, you know, it just have us looking at them real, real crazy. And I think before offices are placed in certain areas, I think they need some more training because a lot of offices are placed in our community and it's, it's not just a, a race thing, it's a whole cultural difference. And like if you're dropped off somewhere and you don't know the culture, you don't understand that when they coming down the street saying, booby, it's not a fight, yeah. they're speaking a booby, yeah, yeah, you know? Right. But I don't think that they're taught a lot of things when it comes to how to deal with us because a lot of police that's been on the beat for a long time mm -hmm. after they've grown into the community they become one with the community right. but lately i think you know the officers they've been so short-handed they're destroying anybody out there and we're getting a lot of bad apples and it have to stop because we're not gonna let them keep killing our children right so my last question is by you being a, a hip-hop star and you have a voice how can you 
help and help change, you know, things that's going on? Well, it's not so much what you can do as far as change because change really has to start with the powers that be because they have the power to kill us. Right. They have the power to lock us away for hundreds of years. But what I do do, I volunteer a lot. I've always been an advocate, you know, in my state, especially in my city and my community. But I talk to young people as often as possible and I explain to them, you know, trouble is easy to get in. It's hard to get out. Right. So be on your best behavior so you don't put yourself in a position for these people to kill you. Right. Don't ride in the car without your seatbelt. And don't use your, your changing lane signals. Don't do anything to make them people pull you over and mess over you. Right. Do what you gotta do. Cause that's how we can really stand up for you when you did what you were supposed to do. Right. If you out there left hand Johnny, it's hard for us to defend you. So I tell them all the time, you know, do what you gotta do. Don't hurt nobody in your community. Go to work, save your money, mind your business and take care of your people. All right, Mama Mia in the building, Nashville. What's happening? I want to get a selfie. Thank you. Appreciate it. I want to get you my snap right quick. Uh.